Hey guys, so today is going to be a quick Sephora haul. A few weeks back they had, or maybe like a month ago now, they had a VIB Rouge event. So first thing I got that I'm actually wearing right now, I was super excited about. It's the Tarte High Performance Naturals Rainforest After Dark Colored Clay Eye and Cheek Palette. It looks like this. The packaging is purple. I don't remember how much this was. Maybe 40 40 or 44 dollars to me it wasn't very expensive considering all that it comes with so the palette looks like this I'm sure you guys have seen this several times on YouTube and this is new to me though because I had never done anything with it prior to this look today this stuff had just been sitting here behind me it comes with this little paper that has the names of all the products I probably to be honest won't use it just because I can barely see it anyway. So the palette looks like this. It has a mirror up here and then down here it comes with a blush, a bronzer, a highlight, and six eyeshadows. I have this purpley color with the neutral brown buffed out in my crease and then I have this darker purple um, kind of in the outer V and underneath my eye. I am wearing the blush, I am wearing the bronzer, and the highlight. The bronzer I know for a fact is Park Avenue Princess, the matte version. It matches my skin tone really nicely. I really like the effect. Actually, I love all of them. I love the blush and the highlight. It just gives me a really nice gleam and that nice neutral like plummy mauve color that I really like, especially for the fall. So, uh, overall, I'm super happy with this palette. So happy I picked it up. Sticking with the Tarte theme, I, I pretty much picked up a lot of Tarte products. This is something that I have been wanting to pick up. It's the Amazonia Clay Full Coverage Foundation. I got the color Light Medium Honey. So it's light to medium skin tones uh, with peach undertones. I don't know. It looked really good in the store, so we'll have to see if it continues to match me. This is supposed to be a 12-hour makeup, oil-free and this is what the packaging looks like. I was blown away by this when I was in the store. It's a really nice full full coverage makeup. It definitely can be toned down and it's right here. It's kind of light against my hand but that's because my lower parts of my extremities are darker than my face and my neck area so it does look a little bit more significant. It's like a mousse E consistency I really liked the coverage that it gave the um, even though it was full coverage I don't feel like it was too heavy and I just I really liked it I wore it the whole time in the store and I was shocked because by the time I left usually when I wear a new foundation I will be oily of some sort I was not oily one bit when I wore this out so we'll have to see let me know in the comments down below if you guys want a full in-depth review or tutorial using this Again, sticking with Tarte, I couldn't help myself. Miss Glamorazzi uses this all the time, and she has really oily skin like I do, so I was curious to get it. It's the Amazonian Clay Full Coverage Air, Brow Air Brush Foundation, but this is the powder version. So I got this in the color Light Medium Neutral, which is, again, light to medium skin tones with yellow and pink undertones, so it's kind of like a neutral foundation. It comes in a pot like this. It has that net and the inside that has keeps the powder sifted and to go along with it I got the Air Bookie which is the bamboo powder foundation brush I don't know that this is necessary but I just feel like the artist that was there used this on me and it's really adorable but that's not the reason that I bought it I just feel like it's meant to go with this so I don't know let's try a little bit of, of it on right now so you can see it picks up quite a bit there I don't know I feel like maybe this isn't the right color for me yeah, I'm thinking maybe I should go a color down. I don't know, it looks a little too orange. Hmm, not sure if that's translating on camera or not. So we'll see. Again, I'll have to let you guys know. I may return it for a different color. I'll kind of have to play around with it when I don't have any makeup on and see how it goes. And then I picked up two more things. The Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade. I got the color Soft Brown. Again, they had a representative there trying it on. And at first when she tried this on me, I was like, oh, my brows look way harsh, which is not what I'm used to. But once I got a full face of makeup, because when I went there, I had no makeup. My rule of thumb is to go into Sephora from now on with no makeup so that I can try on makeup while I'm there. So when I got there I had no makeup on so she did my brows before I had anything else on and I felt like a crazy person. Once I actually got a full face of makeup you know throughout the stations I felt like they looked amazing. Now I haven't used this yet. The color of it here is here which doesn't it doesn't look like that 
it would be that dark because look at my color of my hair this is my natural hair color which is like a dark brown and you see here like it's two different complete colors but for some reason when you put this stuff on it like goes crazy and your brows look like caterpillars so I'm gonna have to play with it but I feel like this was a better match for me than the next one the next color down which I think was like the ash blonde or the taupe blonde or whatever it's called now so I am for sure feeling like I'm in the brown category I just need to get used to using it so I'll have to watch some tutorials and let you guys know how I like this in the future last thing that I got was a Kat Von D everlasting liquid lipstick I tried one of these on in the store as well and I was blown away I can't remember I want to say coffee break with Danny was talking about these I think I don't know I got the color bachelorette which is this like typical color that I have in every other form of lipstick that's the color of it there gorgeous for fall even right now I would rock this right now totally and if I didn't already have a bright lip color on I would I would put this on because it's so pretty it did not bleed did not get on my teeth I could kiss my hand and it didn't come off I was blown away by this lipstick I was kind of comparing the Kat Von D everlasting colors to the Sephora Lester matte longwear lip colors this one is in the color mulberry luster I've had this one already and I was kind of comparing them not necessarily the colors but the texture because the Sephora ones are I want to say $16 so just a few dollars cheaper there's the Sephora one right there um, but this actually feels a lot nicer on the lips I would pay the extra three bucks to have these versus the Sephora ones any day I just feel like you can already see on my hand this uh, Kat Von D one is starting to like dry down to a very matte finish and the Sephora ones even though they're supposed to be matte luster they dry down and they bleed a little bit so you really have to be careful and I just feel like the Kat Von D's are so so much better now I did just buy the LA girl ones um, I forget what they're called I don't think I've hauled them or anything yet the they're like four bucks at the drugstore they're supposed to be like OCC lip tars I just bought those so I haven't compared them to anything like this but by far this is like my number one lip product ever I need to own every color and then just for some samples I picked up the Marc Jacobs uh, highliner gel eye crown I want to say this is in the color black oh no it's in the color brown I don't own anything by Marc Jacobs and that's just crazy to me because Marc Jacobs is super expensive even more expensive than the other crap that I picked up but this liner is so amazing I just feel like I need it it's right there super creamy I love the fact that they're twist up liners and this was a hundred point perk so I mean I just figured I would try it because if I end up loving this I want to say these liners are like $28 I will totally pick some up and then at the Tarte station they had a couple of options like if you wanted to get a little freebie gift they had mascara and stuff like that but I was interested in this cheek stain it's a Tarte flush cheek stain so this is what the product looks like it's kind of like a jelly consistency it looks like a jelly lip product but it's supposed to be a cheek stain so we'll see I'm not a humongous fan of like jelly products but this seemed interesting to me so free sample you can't beat it and then lastly for coming to the VIB Rouge event they gave you this black bag and it has some goodies in it so this is a makeup forever HD blush and it's like a little baby sample in there then they gave you an Escada perfume in Born in Paradise and a Laura Mercier foundation primer which is a really good size sample foundation primer for the most part also a busk a uh, bussum <laughs> buxom lash mascara a little deluxe sample and a living proof perfect hair day five-in-one styling treatment they also gave a dr. jart beauty balm BB like little sample a little baby benefit what's up which I have one of these already and a Algenist complete eye renewal balm which is like an eye balm so that was cool and then a sephora bag but anywho that was the end of my short sephora haul i hope that you guys enjoyed it let me know in the comments down below some of the things that you've recently picked up from sephora or if you have any of these products let me know what you think of them in the comments down below again i hope that you enjoyed and i will see you in my next one bye